everyone welcome back to the channel panther schools and i hope you guys are doing good and this is amit singh i welcome you all again into the series of salesforce plus whatsapp integration in the last couple of videos we talked about how we can set up the application how we can set up the webhook generate the permanent access token in this video we are going to talk about the very important concept which is sending the notification messages to our customers so we are going to use postman and in the previous video also we've talked about using a postman so if you have not downloaded yet postman please go ahead download the postman create an account in postman that is not going to take anything it is just going to use your gmail itself so you can use that gmail and then set up a postman account and before we go ahead uh, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet and let's quickly start so i hope you are uh, done with the downloading of your postman and you have created the account as well next thing what we will do is if you see here under step 2 and first before you see this step 2 you need to go to this application which you have created and if you are not sure how to go you can just click on this my app and then this app is going to tell you the list of all the application that you have created select the one which you want and in my case it is salesforce demo and then under salesforce demo this is your detail page of your application and if you click on this whatsapp you will find this getting started button so this is how you can navigate to this place there is something called uh, run in postman button which is uh, by default disabled for you so how you can enable it but to enable it you need to select a recipient over here under two so just click on drop down and select the recipient and as soon as you select the recipient you will see run in postman click on that button it is going to open a new window in the same browser new tab and then here it will ask you either to log into postman i'm already logged in so it will ask me to fork the collection and here you can just give it the name whatever the name you want you can select which workspace you want it to this workspace is again uh, optional if you want you can select i would suggest to use a workplace uh, workspace if you don't have a workspace go to this workspace tab and uh, click on create workspace it is going to ask you the name make it as either team or personal and then create a workspace and then again click on this back button or get back to the facebook configuration page click on this run in postman button and then here it is going to ask you to fork the collection go ahead and click on this fork collection after selecting the workspace you have to select a workspace you just can you can create a workspace like facebook or whatsapp something you can just have like this i have mules of plus salesforce go ahead and click on this for collection so what it will do is it is going to basically create a collection for you and then from the from this workspace you can select your workspace that you have just created and you have forked the collection and then select the workspace for me it is udemy integration so i have selected this workspace and then under workspace you need to click on this collections so under collection you will see there is one collection which you will find is whatsapp cloud api this is the one which we have just forked from the whatsapp then you need to just uh, click on this expand okay before we go ahead there is one thing that we also need to keep in mind is uh, remember we have created a permanent access token and i asked you to keep it safe because we are going to use in postman as well as in our salesforce integration so that is going to be needed here in this video in order to send the notification message okay what we have to do is from from this left hand side you need to collect uh, select this environment select this and then there is going to be one environment called cloud api select that environment and here you will see all the variables which are already created for you and then for user access token uh, this is going to be the access token which will be forked from here this is going to be that access token all you need to do is you need to go ahead uh, remove this 
and put it here your permanent access token i already have added here this my access token so i'm not going to put it there once this access token is changed go ahead and do a control s or command s in order to save this in moment variable so let me show you if i remove this there is going to be a red dot red color which is going to appear and if you go ahead and click on save you will see now it's saved i'm going to put it back and save it otherwise you can also use this button to save the collection there is one okay next thing now we'll do is we'll go to the collection and once we are here under the collection from the right hand side and below the upgrade button you will see there is no environment selected so go ahead click on the drop down and select cloud api so now once you select this cloud api environment all the variables that we have under this environment if you click on this eyeball icon you will see these variables these variables will be accessible in our request and now we need to go ahead and test this so how we'll test it we'll go to this getting started folder under whatsapp cloud api and then you will see there is a step two we already did set up a developer account so we don't need to do that step two click on that folder uh, to expand that and then click on this send test message this is the request which we need to send and if you select this, it, it will open your send text message. This is a post request. Now you see these are the variables which are basically coming from our environment that we have selected here. So if you don't select environment and if you hover over, you will see that error is there, right? So all you need to do is to resolve this error, select cloud API and your error will be gone and you'll be able to see the detail over here. We have also talked about how this uh, this API, not API, this URL is getting constructed. This is the base URL. This is the version of our API, which is 13.0. Then this is the phone number ID, which we can get from our application. And this is our phone number ID. And then this is the, this messages is the endpoint, which we wanted to perform. We wanted to send the message. Now, if you go to under, authorization you will see we are inheriting from parent so we don't need to make any changes for the authorization part it is getting inherited from this cloud of api collection now if you go to body and the body you will see that there are information like message product which is more whatsapp two which means the number which we wanted to send the whatsapp then what is the type the type is template so remember we first need to use this step this is a mandatory step in order to test our api as we are in a development mode we are in sandbox we cannot directly send first we have to test this that's why it says that send test message and the message will always be of type template and this is the default template now if you click on this send button you will receive a message okay as I just clicked on send message and you can see on my screen I've got the message received from the number okay now this is again if I click on send I will again receive the same number same message I have got that message twice over here you can see right now if I go here and go to this uh, API reference this is again a new folder which we will be working on and under API re request references if you go to messages and then there is one message uh, which is send text message this time it is not a test message right if you click on this and uh, again you will see the endpoint is same the complete endpoint is same because we wanted to send a message to the body's post and if you go to the body you will see this is a simple body what is the the product whatsapp who is the recipient type either individual or business so recipient type is individual whom we wanted to send this is a number the variable which we have created under environment the type of our message is text and this is a message which we wanted to send is body is text message content if you want to change it you can say that this is a simple message from postman okay just the simple message now if you go ahead and click on send the message is sent okay but you won't be able to see that there is message. We, you are saying that we are receiving a blank message. We are, blank message means there is not no such message 
which is being sent to me to the recipient number okay we're not able to receive so what is the issue so the issue is we have to go ahead and we need to go ahead and reply it okay so i've just replied if you see my screen i've just replied okay now if you again go ahead and click on send this time you see here we got we received the message if i again reply and then if i send it will again receive a message so this was the trick first you have to send this test message okay this message you have to send and then after that you can either use this method to reply or you can directly reply using this particular method that you can see over my screen so this is basically how you can send a test message you with the help of whatsapp so this is it for this video thank you for your time and uh, if you have learned something please uh, do like share subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from our channel